Uh, this week, you have a pretty interesting potential play in uh, your pick of the week, Eldorado Gold, ticker symbol yep. EGO. Uh, I believe this is a name we've we've covered a few times on the show. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to cover it again because um, this is a good way for us to play kind of the gold uh, scenario. So let me pull that up, EGO. Now, EGO was at the bottom of its channel testing its level of support a second time. I love it when symbols test support more than once. That gives me more confidence in that. And, you know, EGO gave us a signal on Wednesday that it was a buy signal. This was after the market closed. So today we actually are getting follow through on buying some EGO. EGO, by the way, is affordable. Um, so the scoop is, is I'm actually looking to purchase some of this Eldorado gold, kind of playing in on that hedging. And I'd like to hold it for a, a longer amount of time because it might be my hedge, right? So I'm either going to be buying some EGO stock either today or on uh, Monday, or I was looking at the EGO uh, January 2025 leap, the specific uh, uh, qualifications of that were the $10 call. So EGO, January 17th, 2025, $10 call. So I'm looking to do either one of those purchases, either the stock or the call. If I have a, um, you know, uh, if I have any sort of protective calls because I was shorting EGO about three or four weeks ago, then I'd want to go ahead and um, uh, actually, I, I'm thinking more of puts. If I have any protective puts in place because I've already been trading EGO, I want to be selling puts. Or if I shorted it, I want to go ahead and be now writing puts. So when we're at the bottom of a channel like this, you either want to be buying calls or you want to be selling puts. And so either one of those is what we're going to be doing today. And for anyone that's interested in the arrows that you see on AJ's mm -hmm. chart, this is AJ's free indicator. Uh, I'm not sure if we have a specific name for this one, but it is one that we uh, show showcase in examples pretty much every week. And so uh, if you want access to that, the link to grab those indicators is in the chat. Head on over there, sign up, uh, and you'll be able to uh, throw it on your chart and get some of these signals. Uh, and I, I'm hearing a lot about gold just in the news as well. So it may be a good time to uh, get into one of these alternative plays because like you mentioned this is a very cheap name to have mm -hmm. a, a gold stake in and it tends to be on the boring side at least not recently in the run-up but i think that's a little bit more uh you know due to to all these you know external factors at the moment more so than the company el dorado gold uh you know their own specific situation that's why i want to be going long and because I could either sell premium against this if it tops out, or I could just be holding on to it and get the appreciation on Eldorado Gold itself. And I just want to put a caveat out there. You know, uh, it, when people are part of my program, what we try to do is we try to supercharge these premium sells. Um, and so what we do is we try to leg into our positions and we try to get the extremes, right? Um, we try to leg in on the on the low side. That's when we're buying calls or buying stock. And on the high side, that's when we're, you know, selling our calls and buying puts. And, you know, when we plan out our symbols as part of my program, we really try to get those maximums. But Truth be told, you know, on Monday, this past Monday SIP, I was with my, you know, I was giving a workshop on iron condors and condors, which is another way of selling premium. And we were looking at just doing the condor natively, right? 
meaning you do four option trades all at once and you set up the strategy all at once. And we were calculating the inherent reward and risk in doing all four of those. And, you know, in the best circumstance, we got a risk on reward of something like two to one, meaning there were two, two based on where we had our range bound situation, we had a two to one risk to reward. We were risking as much as 2% of our portfolio for a potential 1% gain. But by putting all four of their, those stocks, those options on at once, I mean, that's a very easy trade. You put the options on and then you just wait. Whereas what we do in our premium selling program is a little bit more elegant. We go ahead and put each one of those trades on at a different time. And we try to time it so that we reverse those numbers and actually create a you know re risk on reward that's less than one, meaning you're going to be risking less than what you're going to get rewarded on when this trade comes out. In fact, we always you know, target uh, to have no risk uh, with legging in. But it takes a little bit more effort. It takes a little bit more planning. Coming back to EGO, I mean, we can do a hybrid. The way that you increase reward and lower risk is simply by creating a short delta in between. Um, and when I say delta, I don't mean the option Greek symbol. I just mean if there's a little bit of space and time between where you actually do the first transaction and the second transaction, you've already increased your reward potential and reduced your risk. So that's all we're doing here. We're not necessarily trying to top out or bottom out the trade, if that makes sense.